<laughs> you know, there's something about Matt Sarah that you just gotta love. You know what? There's a lot about Matt Sarah that you gotta love. Yeah. He's, he's. <laughs> you know what? He's a character, man. He speaks his mind. He does. You know, over and over again. Ready, you know, fire, aim is Matt Sarah. He's a very talented fighter. I mean, before he ever got into mixed martial arts, he was a highly respected jiu-jitsu competitor, a black belt under the legendary Hoist, uh, Henzo Gracie, excuse me. You know, knockout power in his punches. The real difference in this fight, uh, one of the real differences is that Matt Sarah is capable of competing at 155 pounds. He's done it. He's been there. Matt Hughes would have to saw off one of his legs to make 155 pounds. That, that is a big difference. Another big difference is Matt Sarah has knocked people out and knocked out George St. Pierre with power punches. He dropped Carl uh, Parisian with power punches. He's got big power in his hands. And that's something that Matt Hughes hasn't shown. Matt Hughes has stopped guys, but he's only stopped guys on the ground. So advantage standing, you gotta give it to Matt Sarah. But advantage on the ground, the strength, the size, got to go to Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes can finish guys, so can Matt Sarah. This is a, and you know, they, they both hate each other. This is, this is a real exciting matchup, Mike. Pete Sell, Matt's brother Nick, of course Ray Longo, Matt Sarah, the first American black belt under Henzo Gracie. And when you really look at the career of Matt Sarah, this is his 13th fight in the UFC. Yeah, he suffered some losses, but other than the loss to GSP in Montreal, one of them was freaky with the spinning back fist, the fight he was winning. Razor close loss to BJ Penn. Controversial loss to Dean Thomas. As you said, he knocked Carl Parisian down. That's a tough out right there, Matt Serra. Oh, he's tough as they come, man. And you know what? He went into that first GSP fight, and he knew that he was the underdog in that fight, and he didn't care, and he knew that everybody thought that GSP was going to steamroll him, and he came out with his hand raised. Ten to one underdog when he shocked the world in Houston, Texas on April 7th the 07, winning the welterweight title by defeating George Rush St. Pierre. Matt, the Terra Serra. You gotta wonder whether or not all this trash talk, whether all that stuff is in their head, if it's like extra stuff that you have to make up for, you know what I mean? It's like extra weight.